Hi right, guys, welcome back to Divinity Original Sin. Apparently the guy's right here. Uh, definitely me, not Ken, noticed that. Oh yeah, it was, it was all him. I was, uh... See, I, I was checking over here, because like, I was like, hmm, well, you know... It's like, I actually only just realized you can actually pan the camera in this game. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, the entire time we've had our cameras focused on our, our characters like this. So, we're gonna just walk over there. Looks like we've almost solved um, the mystery of the um, the south side of town. <laughs> south side onto north side. Yeah. West side. So I, I so uh, question: Fuck magisters or not fuck magisters? Always fuck magisters. I mean, what have they done for us? Uh, it's true. I mean, I'm a law-abiding citizen. I hear you. you uh, that's I, I fucking knew it too because I, I said. Like, I said that's definitely... it'll be like a weird icon. Behind the containers, the fish in one of the barrels shifts slightly. Please, you have to help me. The Magisters have gone mad! Who are you talking to? I'm a salesman. I tinker. I fix things. I wonder. I buy and sell books when I can. I... I, I had nothing to do with those Magisters vanishing. Please help me. I don't want to die. I don't want them to take me. Uh... Uh, well, let's see. Wonder what's in it for you. What? What? I don't know. I don't have much gold. I've spent years collecting rare items from across Rivalon. Please, what I have is more valuable than any coin purse. It can be yours. Just get me out of here. <laughs> what's Brett you trying to teach you? <laughs> Here's your source. You can help me be promises to help you. Teach you? I'm no tutor. You shift your weight slightly away from the barrel and hear a panicked squawk from within. No, don't leave. I have friends. I know people. They can teach you. Just please, don't leave me here. Uh, lean casually against the barrel and uh, quietly ask him why, why the magistrates are looking for him. I have no idea. I only arrived in town a few days ago. I sold a few items to Grandmaster Kem in Ox and stopped off here on my way to Sarsil. I was just sitting in the tavern, minding my own business, and the Magister started screaming at me. I ran and, well... You hear a quiet sob from the fish. Why is this happening? I didn't do anything. No, your eyes, it seems a bit of a stretch to accuse someone just because they're new in town. There's a moment of silence from within the barrel. Some of the fish seem to shift uncomfortably. I, I may have been studying some new scrolls I bought. They might have been, well, they called for sauce. But that doesn't mean I had anything to do with the disappearances. I'm a tinkerer. I'll fix things for a living. I would never hurt anyone. Glance at the barrel suspiciously. If he's not responsible, then who is? I don't know. It could be anyone in the tavern. None of them have any love for the Magisters. Please, all I know is it wasn't me. Uh... <laughs> you can't wait to see his face with the magisters pulling from that barrel bow. Look over his shoulder, make sure you're not being watched. In a whisper, ask him, tell him what, ask him what he needs you to do. I just need to get out of Driftwood. I can't risk being seen. But if you can get out of town, I can escape to Ox. Please, I'll do anything. Just don't let them see me. Don't let them find me. Not in town for you. Thank you. By Lucian, seven times divine, thank you. I'll follow your lead, but please, be careful. If the Magisters see me, I'm done for. Alright, one sec. Is this going to be another one of these cases where I can just teleport out of town? Who could say? Let's, let's try it. I... I'll be safe. <laughs> yeah, At last, easier. I can breathe again. At last! I was sure I'd die in that wretched place. You have my thanks. If not for you, I probably would have been found, gutted, and salted. I I'm pretty sure this is not supposed to happen, by the way. Every time we do that. Because, like, I, I read it from the wiki, kind of. And then they're like, oh, you gotta bring him out of town. You can maybe teleport him across the thing. Or you can, you know, you have to sneak past the net magisters. And then every time, I always teleport away. And it's like, oh, it's fine with it. 
Like, they, they just follow me. Like, okay. Do you always, like, you also always bring them here, don't you? Yeah, yeah, this is like my, <laughs> this is my favorite spot. Alright, look at him in astonishment. Why do you climb back into the barrel? I can't just saunter away. Who knows what might be lurking in a place like this? But once I'm sure the way's clear, I'm running to Ox like a cat with its tail on fire. I'm done with this stinking town. Well, you're glad you can get him out of that factory. Please, I can't just let you walk away. Here, take this scroll as a gift. A damp, scale-covered roll of paper emerges from the barrel. In fact, that's what started all the trouble in the first place. The Magisters nearly lost their minds when they saw me with it. What scroll is that? It's an acid spore scroll. Ah. Where do you find the scroll? In the kitchens of the tavern, of all places. But that cook had it. Offered it for a great price, too. I thought she was an idiot selling it so cheap. Then again, I'm the dolt who ended up in a barrel. But if she has Magister artifacts, she must be the one they're looking for. Um, the scroll is well and good, but you need to know how to control your source. Oh, of course. I mean, I'm not much of a sorcerer, but I have my connections. Hanag's a pretty powerful source master. Incredible control of portals. I've never seen anyone bend space like she can. Last I heard, she was holed up in a house out in Paradise Downs, the farms to the north. There's more than a few magisters around those parts, though. She might still be there. Might not. But I pity any red cloak that gets on her bad side. Uh, Grimace, really? That's a big lead? A lost sorcerer that might be dead? He pauses for a long moment, his eyes lingering on your weapon. I mean, okay. Look, if you want something else, go to Blood Moon Island. <laughs> we know all this shit, though. I'm not giving you a name. I'm not giving you anything. Whoever you find there, whatever you find, it's not on me. But if you really want a sorcerer, go to Blood Moon Island. And that's all I have to say about it. All right, thank you for the information. I swear, once I get to Ox, I'm going to have the bath of my life. Oh. Uh, would you like a shitty helm, a shitty pair of boots, or a shitty pair of gloves, or a soothing cold skill book? What sells the most? I mean, they're all fucking garbage. Alright, fine, we'll just take this one. The one that sells for the most. Alright, here you go. It sold Excellent. for 200. Yeah. And you can have the scroll too. Fancy bottle of beer. <laughs> Fancy bottle of beer? What the fuck? Yeah. Holy shit, you're spoiling me now. I know. Next thing you know, I'll it's, be it's, like... It's my apology for, you know, buffing all those turns. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, find me some fancy honey, and then we'll be fucking... Well, we'll get married, it's fine. I'm not sure that exists. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I guess we're never getting married. <laughs> yeah. My fan fictions will never come true. Not to say how. Uh, where the fuck... Okay, so... I don't think there's much in the Magister Barracks, so I, I would say we go to the Black Bowl, and we finish shit there. Perhaps. And then, and then we're basically done with this place, I think. Sure, let's go. Uh, what the hell, why is that done? Oh, because he left, that's why. I, oh, oh, right, I the end the hero tag. You, you, what, from what? I have no idea. You're a hero now. Alright, we, we need to go talk to the cook. The cook is apparently a sorcerer. Alright, did you kill Rita? Uh, what? Uh... I may have clicked uh, accidentally on something and stole it. <laughs> no, I fucking swear, I clicked, I clicked on... <laughs> it was an accident, I swear, guys! Dude, I, I fucking... I'm kind of annoyed, actually. That it did that. Because I had to sit for this goddamn loading screen. It's, it's a good thing I saved, though, because I'm like, you know, I'm like, we've done habitually stuff. When you're playing a game with me, you habitually save. Yeah. What did I fucking take? I think I took her, took her fucking frying pan. Yeah, she fucking leans over, the right? acknowledges you with Fuck. a small bow. An oddly formal gesture, given the surroundings. Please, sir, you should not be back here. It's not safe. Uh... Elf friend? Yeah, I have elf friend. Tell you, you can relax, you're not here to cause trouble, you're a friend of the elves. The cook appears unmoved by your overtures. I choose my own friends, you are a stranger. 
Now, please, I must return to my work. <laughs> Credit, you, you, you know she's been selling contraband it, it, that belonged to the missing magisters. Igbo told you that. He's a fugitive, supposedly a sorcerer too. He'd say anything to save his own hide. I killed no one. Not that you didn't accuse her of killing anyone, but she felt the need to deny it anyway. The cook doesn't respond. You notice that she has one hand behind her back when she hadn't before. I note that she could have made those magisters. She couldn't. She can't have made those magisters disappear by herself. Not a place like this. Who's helping her? The cook smiles. Her eyes bore right into you. Her hand remains concealed behind her. The magisters helped me, and the dwarves, the merchants, the pilgrims, even the dogs helped me. Scholar, it dawns on you, the stew, nothing like a hungry village to help get rid of some meat. What dark paths your mind wanders down? Oh, fuck. The things you're insinuating about me require proof, and it seems as though you have none. So don't you pit your word against mine, you'll only lose. Now get out of my kitchen. Oh, it's meaty stew. <laughs> That's what it has. Right, I'm gonna go get some people to talk to her. The cook acknowledges you with a graceful little bow, but keeps her eyes on you the whole time. There's nothing here for you, sister. You should go back out front, where uh, it's safe. Linger anyways, you start for Elven Company. There are other elves, ones who aren't working and have time to talk. Uh, Sharply chastise her for slaving away to the benefit of humans and the like. She should show some more dignity. The cook's hand moves behind her back. Hadn't there been a knife on the table a moment before? I find dignity in other ways. Those who gorge themselves out there call us savages. But I know differently. Keeping one hand behind her back, she gestures to the door with the other. And here the aroma in the kitchen. Comment that the cook must favor nutmeg. Cinnamon, not nutmeg. There's a food shortage in these parts. Fresh meat can be hard to come by. Liberal seasoning helps disguise all sorts of sins. Now, please, I must return to my work. <laughs> can we can we buy some of our fine-smelling stew? Here, my special stew just for my elven kin. Take it with my compliments. Oh, good, I got vegetable stew. Now, I really must get back to my work. All right, so we need to find evidence that she's been, uh... She's, she's been up to shit. Give me some of that meaty stew and just feed it to Sabeel. <laughs> just know, tell you to fuck off. I wonder if that'll work. I nothing more for you. No food, no words. Oh, well, dude, it costs like a hundred gold, though. I'm gonna just buy one. <laughs> Conservative. Your offer insults me. Whoops. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh. Alright. I'll buy one. She she allowed me to take this too. I, I accused her of this. Alright, Sabeel. What, what does this like say? The elf beckons you into the back room. A hungry, playful look in her eyes. The fuck? She comes in close, her breath warm <laughs> on your face, and thrusts a kitchen knife right into your heart. Well, you're right. You were actually right. <laughs> I fucking did that. It's like if the if the stew is people, then yeah. Yeah, Sabeel actually... has the event. That's why she gave Sabeel the vegetable stew. Yeah. I have nothing more for you. No food. No. Uh, uh, I don't know who talked to her. Like, that's actually fucking hilarious. I have nothing more for. Please, I must insist you keep out of my kitchens. It's not. All right. Well, actually, wait. What, what happens if Sabiel accuses her? I wonder. Please, I must insist you keep out of my kitchens. Ah, it's I not see. safe for you to wander about like this. To clear that you know what kind of meat is in the stew, human. Your accusation provokes nothing more than a raised eyebrow from the cook. Ridiculous. Elf, uh, elf, and this is true, an elf would know. Then an elf would know whose flesh she supposedly consumed. Do you know? Ah, uh, spit out a single word, Magisters. Yes, Magisters. Filthy, murdering pigs. Pigs eat anything, even each other. Then, when the time is right, they're slaughtered and fed to more pigs in turn. It's how it should be. Ask her why she's doing this. My closest kin are gone. Their ancestor trees felled. The magisters took everything from me. So, wh wh how do you want to do this? <laughs> do you want to just let this go? <laughs> I 
I mean, <laughs> sure. All right, elf, you understand a miserable elf. Uh, you'd be a miserable elf if you didn't. Her secret is safe. My secret would be far safer if I knew you could never talk again. Uh-oh. There's a carving knife in her hand. You never even saw her pick it up. I have more work to do, more magisters to rid the world of. I can't leave any loose threads. So you thought you were being genuine. If it, more magisters, the more magisters that die, the better. She has nothing to fear from you. Uh oh. She gives you a long look, unsure, then decides. You should have just forgotten all about this. Well, it looks like we have to face the level nine fucking person. Hey, you gotta come fight this? I mean, it's, we're literally just gonna smash her face. Hey! What we gonna do, bitch? <laughs> oh, no, no! <laughs> Not like this! <laughs> Have some mercy, Mike! Do you know I mean? I'm not gonna get arrow spare, it's not fucking worth the source point. I mean, dude, it's like literally just two hits. Now she's a skeleton. Oh, dude, disembodied foot. I've spotted something. What did you spot? What? What did I spot? I don't even know what you spotted. Oh, loose plank. Read. <laughs> Magister Vigil, 215 pounds. Good marbling. <laughs> Magister Herrick, 162, too lean. Oh, man. Alright, let me send that to... I'm gonna pick that up. Wait, there's something wrong with this. All right, I'm gonna send uh, you a grenade and then oh a shell. You can have that on beast. Where's the plank? I already looked it up. It was a, had a magic seal in it. It's on uh, the floor. I, I don't. Oh, there it is. This ring, it bears the magister seal, and there's blood on it. So who do we want to tell this to? I mean, we might as well go get. I mean, she she fucking betrayed us, so we would have we would have kept her secret, but yeah, I mean, like fuck it, like. <laughs> but she fucking betrayed us. I also don't care about the matches, the kind of shit shit heads. Got a kitchen and a bar to run. Bloody with you. Somebody should have taught her a little decorum. Okay, apparently nobody, everyone is unfazed by uh. Oh, dude, the, the, the one of the magisters is here. What the fuck? The spirit of a magister stares dumbly at her translucent hand, the fingers of which have been sheared off. My ring. Where's my ring? Uh, produce a bloody magister ring that was hidden in the kitchen. Ask the ghost if it's hers. Something shakes the magister's ghost from her stupor. Her gaze falls on the ring and brightens. My ring. Uh, ask her what should you should what we should do with it. Your words take a long moment to sink in, like they're being translated for the netherworld. Return it home to my brethren. Yeah, sure. Why the not? spirit smiles at you. If it weren't for the circumstances, it'd be almost heartwarming. <coughs> All right. Taken too early, uh, all hope destroyed. Well, I mean, it says we'd fucking return the ring to their comrades. I guess we'll go also. I guess I'll go talk to the captain, tell him like what happened. Also, there was a door here, so I didn't actually have to leave like that. Uh, whatever. All right. Oh well. Well. <laughs> <laughs> hey, would you like a nice meal, Ma Magister Carver? The Magister's jaw is tightly clenched as he stares out of the window. He senses you. What? Uh, and and that's that you know who's responsible for the disappearance of his comrades. Well, what are you waiting for? Tell De me. Declare that the the tavern cook was the culprit. You were forced to kill her when you confronted her. What? The bloody cook? It can't be. Well, why did Higba have that contraband then? So Hig Higba was greedy, but didn't seek to harm anyone. The cook must have sold him. Uh, the cook must have sold him the contraband in order to over, uh, over throw suspicion onto him. Then he's still guilty of something. I'm not calling off the manhunt until I have that fiend one way or another. As for this cook, do you have any proof? Uh, for, uh inform him that you found a bloody ring hidden in the tavern kitchen, bearing the magister seal. The magister snatches the ring from your palm and stares at it. This, uh, this is a conduct award. I presented it to Magister Harrick myself. She was the second one to be taken. The cook's been reported dead. I thought she was another victim, but if she had this, she must have been the culprit. There's no other explanation. He shudders in disgust. And to think she was so near to us, to, 
me all this time? It seems I owe you my thanks and a reward. He holds out a pouch of gold. You try to take it, but he doesn't yet relinquish his grasp. With his free hand, he wags a finger in your face. Keep this ugliness to yourself. I wouldn't want it thought that we magisters can't solve our own problems without throwing gold about. He lets go of the pouch and turns away. Oh, uh, do you want the magical lizard spear, which is garbage? A magical elven club, club which is also garbage. All right, there's nothing good here, so let me just take the thing that costs the most, and that's it. Same as usual. Yep. Enjoy. Uh, I'm sending it to FN. And Sabiel can have this. Come on. Can't I go and play with the others? No more disappearances. No more deaths. It seems justice has been served well. Inform them that you found a cache of source weapons hidden in the fish factory. So source weapons? What the hell are they doing there? Be sure to tell Raymond or Julian as soon as possible. Okay. No more disappearances. No more deaths. Point out that the tinker was in innocent. Well. Uh, the tinker was innocent, but he had to flee anyways. Doesn't he feel guilty? Of course not. The likes of him was bound to be guilty of something. Good riddance. All right. What does uh, Magister Bellaworth want? I'm watching you, stranger. <laughs> uh. Talia Carver is her superior. She de uh, he deserves her credit. That's all you have to say. You may as well leave me to it then. I don't remember what this person State wanted. Your business to Magister Carver, or else get out. There's still some powerful sorcerers on loose in this region. That's Magister business. Keep your nose out of it. So what 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 happened? Right away. I have no idea. We learned that the information we seek about powerful sorcerers is locked in, in the lowest level of the Magister Barracks. But we knew that already. We've already been like, it's like we already just did everything we needed to do. There's a fun face. Yeah, it's looking around though. Patching up before we head home. Hope the order folks are treating you all right. You stay out of trouble now. Alrighty then. I will stay out of trouble. Wow, that was um. So. So we didn't tell him that, like, he's been eating his comrades this entire time. We know you can't take it. The kids, we can tell them that their friend is dead, but we can't tell him that he's been eating his comrade. Yeah, that's just ta that's just taking it too far. <laughs> Gotta have See, standards. kids are resilient. They, they can take that. I'm always the sorcerer. Maybe we should tell the kids they were also eating people. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you can tell that. Who knows where we're... Okay, I'm trying to find the fucking person... Is it this guy? Maybe Reed. Yeah, I think Reed I'm supposed to talk to about the weapons. Let's go talk to Reed. Cannot believe a sword. Yeah, that's not him, actually. The fuck? I'm just trying to find the person. Is it inside? <laughs> the magisters are inside us the whole time. What's this person want? Bugger off, I'm busy. Yeah, go fuck yourself. I cannot believe the sword. Fuck. I mean, he said, like, go talk to, like, Magister something. I don't know what the fuck. Oh, he said, like, uh, I know what you mean. Julian. Julian, that's the one. It's Julian the other person. The other person's dead. I think we killed them. Oh, did we? Oh, whoops. Whatever. Well, let's... Uh, actually, let me go up to... I mean, this place has a chest up there, so let me go up there. I, 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 just, I just... I like your solution to that. It's like, go fucking eat the stew, and then you'll know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, well... And it works. It's the Beale's feature. That's I what know. she does. I know, I know. Alright, let me go talk to this guy. You see a man. Well <laughs> that painting is kosher to steal. Why? Has lined his face and narrowed his waist. He tries to ignore your presence. Fails. He sighs. See here, scale skin. I'm very busy. The factory is crawling with magisters, and our shipments to Arks are held up. Time is money. Don't waste my money. What do you want? Uh, what are you shipping to Arks? Fish. This is a fish factory. I'm shipping fish to Arks. Now please, there's the door. I suggest you use it. Point out that all the fish are void tainted. A sophisticated imperial lizard like yourself will surely know that in business there's a market for everything. You just have to find it. Or... A dark shadow passes across his face. Sometimes it finds you. Okay, I ask who in Arks is buying void tainted fish. That's privileged information. I have a trade to protect. 
And tell him you have a head to protect too. If he doesn't want to be bashed in, he should answer the question. An excellent point. Well made. The answer to your question is, unsurprisingly, a man in a house. A man in a house buys all the void-tainted fish I can send him. That dark shadow crosses his face once more. He shivers. Not that I've ever met the man. Not sure I want to, if I'm honest. Uh, tell me you'd like to meet this man. Ask for the address. Absolutely not. I don't give away sensitive information like that to anyone who just asks for it. And I don't keep it lying around, neither. That really is enough now. I'm asking you to leave. Good day. You're still here. Try not to be. Tell him what you know about weapons in the basement. He looks surprised. Might be faking it. Might not. What weapons? What basement? Uh, you found weapons in the basement. Source weapons. He tries to look shocked. Fails. Knows it. Knows you know it too. Lohar. Lohar's smuggling weapons to Arks. He hides them in the basement and I make sure they reach the destination. What they're used for and who uses them isn't my business. And it's not yours either. Wonder a lot of what the magistrates would make of a situation with weapons. He swallows, like he has a lump in his throat. You look like the kind of person who's very forgetful with the right motivation. I have a sum of money in my pocket. It adds up to a very good time in the tavern. Uh... Tell me you'd rather keep the contents of the safe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. Fine. Take it and go. And if you say a word to Julian, or anyone else, expect trouble. He turns back to his work. You turn towards the safe. Yeah. Get the hell out of here. Alright. Where's, where's the safe? Is it this? Is it the chest, I guess? Oh yeah, fuck yeah. Is the chest okay, oh, safe yeah. take yeah. now? Yeah, well, I mean, uh, yeah. I just, well, I just took shit out of it. Get the hell out of here. I'm done talking. He has a lot of gold on him, like 18,000 gold. Holy shit. What a shrewd businessman. Alright, well that's... Does he sell anything else or just gold? It does gold. He just has gold. Alright, well that's it for this place. Let's go back to the tavern. Um, and I, we're almost away. done with this place. I, I'm not gonna do that much more, I think, with this area, because fuck. Like, you could spend a lifetime in this fucking town. Because remember, when, when we originally came in here, we're like, let's do, do some combat. We spent like three episodes in fucking town. And now now we're just trying to finish it all up because we're like, fucking whatever. I'm looking at my quest, and there's not a whole lot more that I'm really... Come on. Lives are at stake. See, town is the real fun of us. Yeah, I'll, I'll see. An elf in tattered red robes shifts through pages of handwritten notes spread across the table. So many suspects. So many potential culprits, I need to narrow down the list. Think, you damn elf, think. A floorboard creaks beneath your foot. The elf leaps around abruptly. What are you doing, lizard? Trying to get the drop on me? Sneak up and slit my throat? Sneer if you were intent on killing him, he'd be dead already. Empty bluster, serpent. Now leave me be. My magister comrades are missing and I'm gonna find them. Uh... Say you solved the case and collected the word from the magisters. I... I was a Magister once. It was my whole life. But elves were banished from the ranks. I had hoped maybe if I could solve this case for them, they'd let me back into the fold. No matter. Farewell, stranger. I, I guess that we could have helped him out. I never would have stopped those disappearances. I'm just another bloody useless elf. <laughs> the Magisters were right to get rid of my kind. Uh, he's fucking mad at himself. What a guy. I want to be able to talk to him. I never would have stopped. Okay, uh, nothing. All right, let's go then. I guess we could have let him take the credit for it. I guess. Against all. I guess. I guess. Pretty good. I know. No, well, we didn't see him in time, so we're. I don't care. I, I got magister shit. You have interrupted my newest masterpiece. The bard clears his throat and gargles on his own saliva. He then returns to his poem, but his voice cracks mid-verse. Hmm. Well, never you mind. Every sonnet I compose is a masterpiece, and my muse has been begging me to write something new. Wait! You might be just the stimulus I needed! I shall craft a rhyme for you and your race! All I ask in return is a handful of coins. It's an offer of a lifetime. Puff out your chest. Surely he wouldn't demand payment from, the, from a hero as renowned as yourself. Hmm. Normally I'd argue with you. But you do have a certain look about you. <laughs> Very well. But if I am to write a first-rate work, you must face some difficult questions. 
Are you prepared to answer? Of course. He stares at you for a few torturing moments. Let's cut to the chase, lizard. Your kind has built an empire on the backs of slaves, reaping the rewards of the innocent's toil. Do you condemn your kin? Insists that no kin should apologize for offering food and shelter to lesser beasts. He smiles a crooked smile and runs a hand through his greasy hair. It isn't just slaves that suffer, though, is it? You eternally seek perfection, though offer no room in the creaking empire machine to the sage or the savant. What say you? Uh, inform that the empire's long lived precisely because every kin understands their place. Mm. This superiority complex, this haughtiness, so cold. Others see you for what you truly are monsters, loveless, heartless, ruthless. You know it to be true. Uh, dismiss him out of hand. Love is not a poet's dream, it's sadistic, not restorative. Greatness demands that you resist it. The bard hems and haws, then bellows his next words to anyone who might hear. To all lovers of verse, I bring glorious news. I have completed another modern classic. Listen now, and bask in its resounding refrain. Oh, the lizard's noble, graceful carriage. Uh. Their social norms I never could disparage. As slaves, their servants often are portrayed, yet still with food and bed are rightly paid. No yes, weak links allowed within the chain. No caste <laughs> will ever tolerate a stain. <laughs> Dude, this is my champ. <laughs> what are you talking about? Are you listening to him? Infatuation yeah. is but pointless jest. That's pretty good. Saucer on the loose. All right, nothing for this guy. I think we're pretty much done here. I'll maybe go up the stairs one more time, and then that's basically it. We can just go back to the ship. I don't think there's anything else I really want to fucking do here, honestly. Dude, th dude, there's like, oh, we looted everything here. Oh, well, we did this one. I know we did this one. Oh, did we ever find a way up into the roof of this place or no? Was there some roof reason? Of what? Uh, uh, the door. I oh mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, I remember the door was like blocked or something. Every time I touched it, they were like, hey, I see you. Yeah, you're not allowed to lockpick it. I mean, we could attack it. The experience of a lifetime, is it? Disgusting, that's what it is. Is it working? No, it doesn't seem to be. Well, ripperonies. I don't think there's anything else for us to do here, I'll be honest. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? What happened? What's this guy talking to you about? <laughs> There's a vandal on the loose. <laughs> Did I uh, I'll, I'll leave you to that. Well, that's good to hear, but stay vigilant. Criminal behavior isn't tolerated. I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> I literally just did it. Just frayed you. Good shit. All right. All right I'm in the square now. Don't die. Is there literally anything else that we want to do here? Um, I mean, I know there's the, the lost and found, but get, like you can return his ring and then he'll be give you a little bit of fucking experience. Fuck that shit, though. Um, I think Can sold the ring anyway, so. Uh, let's see. Uh, so there's the contract. I don't think... Do we really care about a rare prey? I don't know. I'll see. Let me look at it. I think a rare prey is something we do later on. I mean, a lot of them seem that way, but why are they there is the question. The fucking 420 herb is here somewhere. Oh, sorry, it's somewhere here. I, uh. As I said, I'll bring the bong with me. It's fine. <laughs> a rare prey. All right, let me let me have a look at this. So it says, um, I mean, it's Dr. Deva, right? I mean, I don't know why this is actually still active, because according to this, that we, we finished it. So, fuck that thing. Champion of the Gods, Red Prince. Uh, I don't think there's anything else for us to do there. I mean, we, we could go fucking smoke it up one more time and visit our god again. Do you want to do that? I <laughs> basically point to it, but we could try, I guess. I mean, I don't think there is either. We just show up and like, dude, no, get out. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I could, I could die again. 
Uh, yeah, let's just let's just do that. What the fuck? What's my phone going up for? Nani? That's some fucking retarded ass shit. I, I keep getting like phone calls from like nobody. It's retarded. Yeah, <laughs> so Jack Mitchell. Yeah, probably. Yeah. It's like so, I, don't, I don't I don't recognize the number. It's like some fucking area code I don't know. All right, so back to the boat. Uh, I mean, you want to? But don't you want to smoke it up with our god one more time? The fuck? What are you, a pussy? Sure, fine. What are you, a fucking narc? Let's go. Actually, wait, uh, but the th other person's dead here, though. Whatever, I'm gonna smoke it up anyways. She can't stop me. Alright. You know, you know, it's always been my blood that's been, like, the the, 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 the issue here. You know that, right? <laughs> I'm my blood. Because we have, we have one more thing for this, so uh, might as well. I think there's more in, like, the, the back in the Clisterwood area. Well, I mean, I just... I'm just gonna smoke it up, honestly. Alright, just, just in before fucking another void fight. As you suck the smoke, deep Inhale. into the smoke burns your lungs. You're still st Alright. Wait, wait, what? As you suck the smoke deep into your lungs, Inhale. the smoke burns your lungs, but you don't feel any different. Your vision slowly starts to clear. You're still standing exactly where you were, a faint burning sensation in your chest. Perhaps this ritual is not meant for you. What if Sabil goes? Just wondering. As you suck the smoke deep into your lungs, the smoke burns your lungs, but you don't yeah, still. Yeah, you can't. We can't do it anymore. All right, fuck it. We're going. We're going back to Lady Vengeance. Get the fuck out of here. By the way, I literally don't care if we've missed anything else. We've done enough. We've done enough. Actually, what, back to the Sky Ranger boys. Actually, let me go talk to Tarquin. I'm gonna go talk to everyone here. Actually, though. Let me think. Sprinkling of skull. Okay, fuck this guy. He's like, then I can get back to ship. He's literally on the ship. Be on your way now, my dear. Perhaps we'll have matters to discuss again later. I haven't felt this free in a long time. Not since. Okay, everyone's is fucking useless. Like, who are? Oh, dude, ballista. Okay, I'm gonna. To, I'm gonna go talk to the ballista. I, oh, you figured out how to make a cup of water. <laughs> I gotta make some tea. All right, fire at will. Void woken at 12 o'clock. Alright. You gotta make some tea? Okay. Yeah, make some tea. Alright, fine. I mean, don't we have like a, a fucking like, like demon child in the fucking cargo hold? I'll be fine. Yeah, okay. Speak to me if you're looking for hired help. I've got good fighters of every stripe. They know how to keep their mouths shut too, as long as there's gold in it for them. Hmm. This might be an improvement over Kant. Oh, I see you have a full contingent already. Then I'll leave you be. Oh. Hello again. Wait, was she gonna join our party? Twice now you saved my skin. Nah, uh, she she would have hired someone for us, but it's fine. Uh and I think it's time to start repaying the favors. I could fetch some stuff you need, maybe. Mar always said I was a great runner. Uh you could certainly use a thing or two. Oh shit, we can get free stuff here. Uh, what do we want? Holy shit! Is it like a dude? We can get we can get stardust herbs and shit. Pixie dust. Why pixie dust? Fine. Sure thing. I'll start hunting that down right away. Don't wait up. So we could have used him this whole time. All right, Guaranteed we're gonna leave him here. Fucking child labor, dude. My own demons haunt me too close. I'm a lizard. Do you think I care? I cannot also bear the burden of. <laughs> no, I'm saying it's like a. I wonder if Sibyl has anything to say about the situation. Yes. Uh, ask her how she feels to know that Roost a a Analon is dead. She smirks quite joylessly. You heard the way he spoke to me, didn't you? I don't think I'll lose any sleep over his violent demise. Roost. He was wickedness come to life. In his mind, we were nothing but things that squeal delightfully when tortured and ravished. She looks at you intently, with searching, questioning eyes. Does such a creature deserve anything less than death? Um... Not someone like that absolutely does. Indeed. The names on my left arm. Several I killed with pleasure. You saw what I did with Stingtail. You saw it made me feel good. You read the ecstasy in my eyes when I made Roost scream. I ask again. Does a creature like me deserve anything less than death? Uh... So that's not what you meant. Of course you didn't mean her, you meant Roost. I know you didn't. You only inadvertently did. 
Don't worry, I don't hold it against you. Besides, you weren't wrong. She holds up her needle and eyes it with the same searching, questioning look she gave you. Beyond the blood hides nothing but a desire to be happy. I can only hope that is not too terrible a crime. Sarah, you'd like to discuss recent revelations about her being Prime Scion. Ah, yes. I am the Prime Scion. A revelation that came quite out of the blue, which is somewhat ironic, considering I'm supposed to be my people's foremost memory keeper. Quite slipped my mind, though. A slave scar will do that to a girl. Ask if the revelations jo jogged anything in her memory. Yes, a great many things. Days long gone. She looks down, an uncharacteristic cast of melancholy passing over her face. Gods, I was so... young. Imagine it, to sit enthroned under a vast forest canopy, to look down upon a crowd of thousands, their bodies aglow with countless rays of golden light falling through the leaves. You hear their voices as one. One mind, one thought, and it's your name they encant, as if the word itself were magic. Sabeel. They said it like I was the cornerstone of their existence. <laughs> Isn't that silly? I didn't even know myself. Uh, ask her, you know, all too, all, all, all too well how a surreal, absolute uh, adultation could feel. It's a very lonely thing, indeed, to be the object of a people's worship. What is revered is feared at the same time. She absent-mindedly fingers her needle, hesitates. I used to love poetry. I used to love wandering the forests for days on end. I'd swim in the rivers and forget to dress after. It was fine. I was alone. I'd bask in the sun, sleep nestled among bear cubs. Nothing out there would harm me. But always they would find me, the scions. Always the mother tree would call me back. For one day I'd be free no longer. One day my legs would be roots. To wonder would be but one lone memory among millions. So she clearly meant a great deal to her people. Didn't they mean a great deal to her? They did. But they didn't outweigh the dread of destiny. Nevertheless, I must admit that even to sit on that throne amid that airy crowd destined to become leaf and bark was not so dreadful a prospect as what came next. When I decided to run away from the mother tree with only the moon for my guide, it was a terrible journey. Soft leafed branches became vicious like whips. Moss bedecked rocks became sharp like the stone axes of old. I grew weary. I was bleeding, in pain, and how I gasped when for the first time an animal eyed me with malice and growled. That is when I heard them, the whispers and the taunts, the low howls of men. The snare cut so deep, the blindfold, it made me panic. The dark. Take her in your arms, comfort her. Somewhat to your surprise, Sabeel doesn't recoil, but allows you to hug her. Thank you. That very first moment of darkness. I've never been so scared ever since. Then there was the stench of those men. The burn of the ropes. The jeers and the kicks. Until the dark went silent. Even those barbarians didn't dare speak in the presence of the master. Don't shame me, pig, shame pig me for hugging. But I'll not speak of him and his methods. Not now, anyway. What's our next Never. movie? We should sail off into the sunset in search of the nameless isle. An idyllic enough spot, no doubt. All right. I wonder what happens if she talks to me. She's not allowed to. Cause she's my follower. All right. Well, time was... for me to talk to beast. All right, go. Uh, not much a landlubber sometimes, I get no choice in the matter. Besides, this business to be this, eh, eh, <laughs> Besides, this business to take care of. Uh, uh, he mentioned Isbael. Who's that? Listen, when I was wee, one of Laura's manservants used to tell an old lizard tale. Once, when the ancient empire stretched across all Revelon, there was an emperor called Reza. A good lizard, but a sickly one. Scales flicking off, eyes bugging out, that kind of thing. One day, a doctor came to him. Zen was his name. And Zen said he could cure the Emperor's disease 
The Emperor agreed to his poultice of herbs and black rose petals, and it worked. The Emperor was, it seems, cured, as long as he continued treatment. This didn't please the Emperor's advisor, Gaul, however. Gaul didn't want Reza cured, for he planned to inherit the Empire. So he convinced the Emperor that someone like Zinn had the power to both cure and kill. On his advice, Reza had the doctor executed. With Zinn dead, the Emperor's disease returned. The sickness took him soon after. The hateful Gaul took his place, ushering in a century of misery. Yeah, not a fun story to tell a kid thinking back on it. Anywho, isbel has been at the Queen's side for years, poisoning her mind with her filth. She's like two things from that story. She's the advisor, and she's the disease. And me, I'm going to be the cure. That metaphor works, right? I'm going with a yes. Ask Dwarf what he suggests you do next. We do my favorite thing in all the world. We sail. The Council of Seven awaits, lass. Though if we dally among the waves, you won't find me complaining. So did he say lass? Yeah. No, lad. I heard lad. <laughs> Sound like lass to me. Uh. Loar's gonna want to know about our little uh, <laughs> encounter with Mordus. Let's get that amulet to him. Did we not give did him I, the amulet? Did we not? No, I did, because I, I spoke to him, didn't I? Oh, uh, you did. We've been through this. Uh, tell him we like to go to separate ways. No. Alright. So, is... Like, look at your thing, line. Is there literally anything else you want to do? My companion, Sabeel. Yeah, no. Powerful Awakening. We've learned that it's in the bottom. Yeah. I guess we're done. Okay, well, uh, that's all the time we got for today. Next time we're gonna go talk to Mountie and get the fuck out of here. So if there's anything else we missed, well, too fucking bad. Rip. Yeah, well, I just, that's it. We fucking, whatever. Bye. Rip.